Hey, this is your teacher, Mr. J. I'm here today to show you just a couple of setup items in Reaper. So we'll get right into it. Two basic things you need to set up are your audio and your MIDI. So let's look at the audio first. If you go to Options, down to Preferences, and click on under Audio, click on Device. You will see here at the top, Audio System, a number of suggestions. Uh, depending on your system, if you have purchased some sort of audio interface it should come with an ASIO driver so you install it correctly first install the audio interface first and then launch Reaper you should then under here in my case I can see my PCR1 um, ASIO interface if you do not have an AS ASIO interface something that's a, a, like a USB interface or something like that then you could try to download um, this program called ASIO for All. I've had some success, less success as we get into Windows 7, 8, 10, but some success using that as a low latency audio driver. If uh, you don't have either one of those, you can try direct sound. The main things that you want to look at after you set it up is that it's going to go out your primary sound driver typically. And then how many how many samples is it going to do? The more samples, the more latency. When you're doing MIDI, obviously you want to have things at a very, very low sample rate so that this is not the recording sample rate, but a, a sampling that the computer does, uh, how slowly basically it plays back the sound for you. So you want that as slow as possible or as small as possible so that when you hit the button on your, on your MIDI controller, the sound comes back to you right away. So once you set up your driver, um, depending on the driver, sometimes you can go into the ASIO configuration. You can select the, also called a buffer size here, as minimum as possible before it starts crackling on you. And you may have to adjust that as you get more and more tracks. Second thing to set up are your MIDI devices. If you click on MIDI devices, the default is that they'll be disabled. So if you plug in a MIDI, MIDI device, it, it's not working uh, for the first time, check your first. All you have to do is double click on them. You can enable input and for control as well, ideally. Click on OK, it should come up there. And then output, typically, you're not going to need because what that means is basically it's sending it back out of your computer again. Most people do not have this kind of setup. And then you just hit apply. If you've set up those two things, they all should be working. Last thing I want to show you are VST plugin setups. This is another thing under default that you may have to change which is to add a folder that you have installed some extra VST plugins. And to do that, you would just click on Add, find your folder, and select OK, rescan, and then it should find your VST plugin. So if you can't find one of your plugins, if you've installed something, it might have put it in a different folder, default folder, so just be aware of that, and this is where you can install that in. Hopefully that is helpful to you as you set up Reaper. Keep on recording.